want more leads for your law firm, then there are two numbers that you need to know. In this video, I'm going to show you what they are and how they relate to you getting more leads for your law firm so you get more leads, more clients, and generate more revenue. Now, let's talk about the first number that you need to know. The first number that you need to know if you want to get more leads for your law firm, maybe you spend a lot of money on marketing, maybe you spend a lot of money on ads, maybe you've run TV campaigns, whatever you've done. If you've run these, if you've spent money on marketing and you, maybe, you, maybe you're doing organic SEO and people just aren't clicking on your, people aren't are clicking on your website, but they're not hiring you. This is why this number right here, the number is 3%, 3%. What this means is that 3% of any given market is actually ready to hire you. So what that also means is that 97% of any given market who needs your services. So 97% of people who need a lawyer are not yet ready to hire you, right? So what does that mean you need to do? That means that when you, you hit these 3%, right? Most lawyers are going after this 3%. All they do is they just go after these 3%. All they do is they run Google ads and they run Facebook ads and say, hire me, I'm a lawyer, right? And the problem is, is that think of all the different ways that somebody can see your ad or click on your link or go to your website and they're not actually ready to call you, right? Because they're just not ready to make a purchase yet or they're not ready to hire you. This is not exclusive to all other industries. Every single industry, only 3% are actually ready to hire you. So what I would say is about 97% of lawyers are targeting this 3% and probably only about 3% are actually targeting this 97%. So what does that mean? That means that, yeah, you should still go after the 3%, but if you really wanna make money, if you really wanna generate leads, if you really wanna grow your law firm, then you need to focus on the 97%. You need to focus on the people who have not yet, who, who, who came in contact with you, but are not yet ready to buy, right? Now, there's something else. Forrester did, a, did some research, and this is the second number. 97% actually isn't even the second number I was gonna tell you about. This is a, another startling discovery that Forrester uh, came out with that really is gonna impact you if you wanna get clients for your law firm. And that number is 56%. 56%. This is the percentage of people that Forrester surveyed. They surveyed thousands and thousands of people who hired law firms. 56% had come in contact with the brand, with the law firm, more than five times, right? So that means that more than half of the people who hired a law firm had, had come in contact with that brand five times before actually hiring them. Now, I have to ask you, are you even giving your ideal clients or your ideal leads five opportunities to come in contact with you. If you're like 97% of the lawyers out there, the answer is probably no. And it's fine. If you're not, that's fine. That means that there's tons of room for improvement. I love finding out statistics like that where I'm screwing up because it means that, wow, if I'm already doing all right, I can go, I can do even better. Or if I'm not doing good, okay, cool. Here's what I can do, right? The worst thing is finding out that you're doing all this and it still isn't working, right? So what do you do? How do you actually target this 97% and, you know, I mean, you still go after the 3%, but how do you actually target the 97%? Because nobody else is targeting this 97%. You can be one of only like two lawyers in your market that's actually targeting the 97%. Well, here's how you do it. There's something you need to understand. There's three types of traffic, right? And this is something that they really don't teach you. So three types of traffic. The first type of traffic is traffic that you control. Now, traffic that you control is traffic like ads, right? So for example, Facebook ads or Google ads or, or, or Instagram ads or TikTok ads, right? You control these, these ads. So you turn it on, you're spending money and they're sending traffic to your website. However, you turn it off and you stop spending money, they stop sending traffic to your website, right? So that's traffic you control. The second type of traffic is traffic you don't control. Now, traffic you don't control is traffic like uh, referrals, like you really can't control if you're getting referral traffic. Um, search engine optimization is another example of traffic that you can't control, right? Because you can try to influence where you rank in Google, but nobody can make you rank number one in Google or nobody can get you, can guarantee your traffic from Google, right? So what do you do? You need to basically take the traffic that you control 
and the traffic that you don't control and you need to put it through a filtration process and you need to convert it into the third type of traffic. You need to take both of these and you need to convert it to the third type of traffic, which is the best type of traffic, which is traffic that you own. So if you take traffic that you control and traffic that you don't control and turn it into traffic that you own, then what does that mean? That means that now you can follow up with them over and over and over and over again. Let me show you exactly what this looks like. So let's say you have uh, a Facebook ad or, or some sort of ad, right? And that ad, uh, here's the ad, and that drives them to a landing page. Now this could be your website, uh, it should be a dedicated landing page. If you have an SEO company, or sorry, if you have a, a pay-per-click company that is running ads and they're sending ads to your homepage, like your website, fire them and find a new company. You need a landing page, a dedicated landing page, right? So let's assume that you have a good company and they're actually running ads to your landing page, right? So the landing page. Now this landing page can have call, call today offers and all that type of stuff. But what it also should have is it should have some sort of lead magnet on there. So if you're a motorcycle accident attorney, or if you're a car accident attorney, some sort of free guide, like, you know, four things to do today if the car insurance company is calling you and trying to get a written statement, or three ways the car insurance companies try to screw you out of paying your, your bills and what to do about today, right? But what you want to do is you want to have some sort of lead magnet. And this is actually going to be, I'll say lead magnet, and it can be a free guide. It can be a video that they have to enter. But what the important thing is that they have to enter their email address, right? So there's a landing page that's promoting the lead magnet. On the lead magnet, you capture their email address. So once you have their email address, then what you can do is you can start following up with them via email, right? Now, the important thing is not the spam. The important thing is that you understand that your ideal clients have a very unique set of problems, right? So what you wanna do is you want to do what my favorite marketer, his name is Frank Kern, he says, prove you can help people by actually helping them, right? The only reason that somebody's actually gonna hire you is to help them solve a problem, right? So in the grand scheme of things that they could hire you for, there's really big problems and there's really small problems that they have that are ancillary problems, right? So what you wanna do is once you have their email address, send them follow-up emails that contain solutions to small problems that they have. So for example, let's say you're, uh, let's say, let's say it's a, a, a car accident uh, lead magnet. So, you know, four ways the car insurance companies, uh, you know, screw you and don't pay your, your, your claim or whatever. Maybe you don't want to use such colorful language. I don't know. Three ways, three, three ways the car insurance companies trick you into getting out of paying your claims, right? So, Email number one, you know that if they have a car accident, they probably need to get their car fixed, right? So this one can be like three tips to getting your car fixed so that it actually gets uh, fixed better than new or so that, that the mechanic actually makes sure that you get your car fixed the right way and that um, it doesn't cost you too much money out of pocket. And then the next one can be, um, you know, do you have, uh, you know, have you gone to the doctor yet? Three times when you need to go to the doctor, even if you're not experiencing pain, right? And the next one can be, um, if you go to the doctor, how do you get the car insurance company to pay your medical bills? Or what do you do? How can you go to the doctor and uh, how do you get your medical bills paid? Or how do you go to the doctor if you can't afford to go to the doctor? Um, another one, the car insurance company is calling you. What do you say to them, right? So basically, you just keep following up with value videos that provide value and provide solutions to problems that they have. And what ends up happening is one of these videos, one of these emails, excuse me, is going to strike a nerve. Maybe they read this one, they read this one, and then, oh, this one, I can relate to this one. Uh, so then they call you and they hire you, right? Or they do this. But here's the cool part, right? The cool part about this is this entire system runs completely on autopilot, right? And what it does is it takes care of this strategy. So what did we do here, right? We took traffic that we controlled, which that's the ad, right? We took traffic that we controlled in the form of an ad. We got them on a landing page and we gave them a lead magnet, which allowed them to trade their email address for our lead magnet. Now we own the traffic because now we have their email address. And now we can send them an email over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until they hire us or until they unsubscribe, right? But if you do this, then what you're going to do is you're going to satisfy these numbers. 
So you're going to hit that 97% because what you're doing is you're following up automatically with people, right? You're following up with people who expressed interest and because they downloaded a lead magnet that solves a problem that only your ideal clients have, they're raising their hand and saying, hey, I have this problem and now you just have to follow up with them, right? And you're also giving them an opportunity to come in touch with your brand more than five times, which is necessary for 56% of the people that hire law firms. Now, I know that this may seem a little complicated, but trust me, it's really, really easy to set up. And if you want to learn how to do this, plus much, much more, how to, how to get more leads, how to grow your law firm, how to get more clients, how to grow your revenue, how to uh, have the best 2022 that you could ever possibly imagine, then what I want you to do is I want you to click the link. It's around this video somewhere. And I want you to join us on the Lead Abundance Challenge that is happening in uh, just a few weeks, actually. So click the link. It's around this video and join us on the lead abundance challenge on the lead abundance challenge. We're going to show you how to get more leads, how to get into lead abundance. So we're going to tell you, first of all, what is your lead abundance number? What is the actual number of leads that you need to get? Most people don't even realize how many leads they actually need to get to be successful. Right. And then we're going to show you, okay, let's figure out now that you know what your number is, how do you get into lead abundance? How do you actually get into the situation where you're getting these leads? And what are the tactics, the tricks, the strategies, the hacks to actually generate the leads that will get you into lead abundance so that you can get more leads, get more clients, and ultimately grow your law firm and have an amazing rest of 2022. So if you like this video, um, be sure to grab your ticket to the lead abundance challenge, and I will see you on the challenge, which is starting very, very soon.